What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Arbor Knot and how to tie it. So stick around. Bang. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. All right, we're back guys. If you're new to the channel, I do all sorts of educational fishing content like this. I do all sorts of actual fishing content when it's not dark, dreary, and gray, and raining, and cold, and everything's frozen over like it is here in upstate New York. I do all sorts of stuff like that on my channel, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I do a new video. All right, so the arbor knot is a knot that you tie around the arbor of your spool, which is this piece, and that makes it so the knot doesn't slip, it doesn't spin around this really smooth surface, and it allows the reel to actually pull line in and not just let it spin around like that. If you any of you fished since you were a kid and you didn't know what the arbor knot was and you tied some really ugly knot, sometimes that happened to you. And then you eventually learn the electrical tape trick, but that doesn't help you tie the knot and help you be a better angler. It just helps you small band-aid on a larger problem. So hopefully this video will help some folks out there. All right, so let's get into the knot, guys. You start by tying a basic overhand knot at the end of your line. And then you'll wrap the line around the arbor of your reel. Give yourself enough space in the tag end to tie this knot. Then you'll make a simple overhand loop. You'll make a simple loop around the line. Now you tie a basic overhand knot in that loop and tighten it down. For purposes of this video, I didn't spit on it so you guys can see what it looks like better, but you should lubricate the line so it doesn't burn the line and create hot spots when you pull this and cinch this down. But your next step is to just cinch this down. Pull it till it's tight. And then your final step is to snip off your tag end and start reeling on your line. Alright guys, hopefully this video was helpful for some of you guys. I didn't know what the knot was called in the beginning. Apparently it's also called the Canadian Jam Knot and it's really great for tying up um, all sorts of different stuff in the bushcraft world. All right, so hopefully I was able to help some of you guys out there. Hopefully I was able to answer some questions for a couple folks that had asked some questions. This is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and videos like this, hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about the video. Tell me if you like the video, if you, you maybe you do something different, let me know. If you wanna see more videos like this, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, check out the channel, and I have a playlist of videos set up for you guys right here. And I got a couple videos set up for you guys right here. See you next time.